Hey guys, I'm gonna start in a sec. Um, okay. Today I don't have my webcam, unfortunately. Oh, this is my Twitter. Uh, how is the sound, guys? It's okay? Give me some feedback there. I think it's okay, right? Volume, please. Okay. What about now? Crypto Lights SP. How is the sound now? Too much? Tell me if it's okay, huh? The volume is... Um, I think now it's better, right? I am uh, trying to, to raise a bit here. Okay, now it's fine, right? So, guys, um, welcome to my stream. So, today I'm gonna do some um, perfect time. Just go out of the shower in a long since. 6100 oh congrats crypto light sp because i do think that bitcoin is gonna uh sound is good for me hello hello sounds good to me it's all good yes hi templar hi there bro no oh, that's great 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 to have you guys here in my stream um so let's dig into this bit c short so I have some scenarios here. Okay, so first let me update you guys what I have here. I have a one, two, three, four, five. Finish. We have this is not this is old news, right? We have finished this wave five here. Okay, but as we know, as as most of us should know that in, on Bitstamp we have a lower low here. Okay. So then I changed my account a little bit to account for this lower low. Okay, so here we have a 1, 2, 3, A, A, B, C, B. And here we have a lead uh, ending diag C. A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. To finish our C here. I'm sorry, just the A should start here. Okay, then we have this C here. Okay, but this, this, this is one of the... Uh, let me just take this C out of here, this ABC out of here, just a second. Okay, we have some scenarios now that might unfold. Here we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, a clear 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? That, hmm, we have almost a double bottom here. Okay, we finished here, well, uh, it's a, a, clear, a clear motive impulse wave. And now we are reacting, okay? The way that we are going to react is going to tell us what's going to happen next, okay? It's always like this. Not surprise, not a surprise at all, right? So, but if we count these as a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so then here we have formula 1, okay? Let's, for, let's count this uh, really the, the, the easiest way as possible. This is a 1, okay? Motive impulse wave down. We have finished it. Okay. Then we would have a two. Then we would need to put a three. A three is usually down here, minus six to one eighty. Okay. Then we would use this resistance. Now it was a previous. It's it's now acting as a support this region, but it's now a res, it it would it will be a resistance. Then and then we would have our wave five. Okay, this would be a really bearish scenario. Okay, would have a one, two, three, four, five waves down. Okay, this would be uh, it would hit like fifty three hundred here. Okay, this would be our worst case scenario. Not worst case scenario. We we <laughs> we have uh, <laughs> come on, it's Bitcoin. It might, we might, I might present a, a even bear, even bearish, even more bearish scenario than this one. But this is, 
this is clear for me we have this uh, engine diagonal okay if you guys don't know this is a uh, this is uh, this is a leading diagonal okay but it's not what we have here I, I, I count if you if you have watched my stream yesterday uh, this was my count I have an A here okay but I changed it because I can't have an A here because of this lower low here okay instead of having a leading diagonal like this I am counting this as an A B this is an 1 2 3 A B A B C okay then we can have a lower low because a B can be extended okay and we have a, a ending diagonal C 1 2 3 1 2 okay this the, the ending diagonal is something like this uh, wait a second if you if you follow me on Twitter I post this okay this this chart here okay this is this is the leading diagonal a b and then we have a one two three one one two three two one two three three one two three four one two three and five and then we have our c okay this is what we have here okay so then we have our reaction we broke this wedge and we have one two three four five going down but we stopped right at this resistance uh, this support I'm sorry not resistance this support here right now if you are long in here like crypto light SP you are good because I think we are going up well, of course we need to to correct this whole movement down here okay so it's it's nice that we are uh, at least we need some kind of movement uh, doesn't matter the way you count it we have an ABC here okay we have a correction always corrections we label as abc so we have some kind of correction here abc okay this is what uh, i am aiming that we are going to hit this spot here okay so if you are longing six seven hundred is a good it's a good spot right it's a good uh i would take my profit earlier okay i would take my profit here 6500 but if you want you can take a little bit sooner and then you left some of your profit for later okay this is our but definitely we have this abc let me take the 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 wave out okay okay this is what we have okay for the moment for the short term we are gonna have this uh, impulse. A, this, this. We are gonna have this correction. The, the correction of this wave here. Okay, this one wave here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is what we are gonna have. Uh, what remains to be answered, though, is that we might not go as deep as minus six to one eight. Okay, why not? We may fail. To do so we have a resistance here this is our lowest low of the year 57 if we fail to complete this wave 3 here and if we see weakness when going down okay that that's what we need to pay attention okay we we short here and then we need to pay attention of, of uh, how is it going to act going down here okay how is it going to to behave and we might have a, a, an X wave here. X, it's a failure. It's a failure wave. It's might, it might be a failure going up or going down. Okay, in this case, it's going down. It's a failure to complete this wave three here. Okay. And then what's going, what's going to happen is that hmm, we are going to have a wave up. Okay. Instead. Of having a let me after we finish this a b c okay we would label this as an a b and c okay we would have a x instead of a of a instead of a tree okay are you following guys this is diff this is a, a little bit different discount okay we would have an a 
B here and C. Let me change the color. White. Show wave. Okay. This is what might happen, okay? If and only if, okay? We might have a B that is extended. So both counts can be almost identical. What, but what's, what's going to happen is that this C here won't go as deep as a wave 3 here. Okay, like minus 618. And then what's going to happen? Then we are going to have an ABC wave up to complete this Y. Okay, this is a flat correction. Okay, and Y is going to be like this, more like this. It's a flat correction. Which makes sense, okay? We had a, a sharp, a sharp motive impulse wave down here, five. Now we would have a W X Y, a flat correction of this whole movement down, okay? I am leaning towards this count here, okay? But it's impossible to know beforehand. It's impossible. We might have yes, indeed. We might have an X here. As well as we might have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and go as deep as 5300. Okay? Remains to be seen. Um, and uh, what's gonna... What changes for us is nothing changes, okay? <laughs> if you are longing here, just keep it, keep going and consider taking some profit here even if if i'm wrong okay uh, we might have a situation here we might have a, a bullish count okay let me present a bullish count here this is a bullish count okay if we have a bullish count here if we are bullish okay it's not impossible it's it's possible then we have finished our a here what is the problem though? The problem is that we have invalidated this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 impulse wave here, 1. As I said, on Bitstamp, this uh, channel has, has been broken here and we have hit a lower low here. Not this low, but a lower low here on Bitstamp, okay? We have a lower low. If we have a lower low here, we can't have a 1, 2. This is a basic Elliott wave rule, right? We can't have a, <clears throat> a, a diagonal here. This would be our first, this would be our leading diagonal, 1. We can't have this. We can't, because this is invalidating our count, this wave 2 here. Yes? So, but allowing for this... Uh, allowing for this okay okay you're gonna be help you, you're gonna you want to be hopeful I don't know <laughs> whatever um, then we have a wave one then a two okay we need to put this wave two here that can go as deep as uh, if we break the resistance if we break this resistance here we, 6 to 100 we can go as deep as 7, 8, 7, 8, 50, 88, 70. This is a bullish count, okay? <laughs> but it's really difficult. We are out of this channel, you see? We broke this channel and we are out of it. To, to, uh, we, wouldn't really, we wouldn't really need to, uh, to, to have a really a price surge here, break this resistance here. And go really up to the 6180 here, minus 6180 to 7400, 7, 7, and then complete this uh, fifth wave here at almost 8k. Okay, to complete this wave one here. This is a bullish scenario. I, I, I don't see this happening. Okay, I don't see to be 100% honest with you guys. <laughs> Really difficult to see a, a bullish count like this going on. Okay, I I, I post this on my Twitter as well. The the count is the same. Okay, we had this 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 motive impulse wave down here. Okay, one two three four five finished here, and now we are going up. Okay, 
we are not correcting, but we had the trend reversal. But to uh, to assume that we had a trend reversal, we need to. I don't know. We would have a, a, a stronger and a stronger reaction than this one. I don't see this uh, the stronger uh, stronger reaction. Okay, it's a really it's a weak re a weak reaction with a wedge. Then we have this strong uh, reaction down to put a, a wave A, B, C, a really deep to the. the the geometry, the symmetry of the chart doesn't look really well for me. We, if we count this as a bull, okay. So, <clears throat> a normal bull, right? One, two, three, four, five to go and go really high, okay. So this is my primary count. W, X, Y, okay. If we don't break this resistance. Uh, the support, I'm sorry. If we don't break, we have an X here, and then we go up to finish this corrective movement of this one, two, three, four, five motive impulse. Okay? Only if. We need to wait for this, okay? We need to wait for this. This is this is gonna be um this is this is what's gonna tell us whether or not we are in a double combo w x y or if we are in a normal motive impulse wave down one two three four five like this okay it's almost identical okay the the difference is that we are gonna go lower here okay um <clears throat> so bitcoin is <laughs> is doing is doing its thing um one particular out, one particular out that I like is EOS. G guys, do you have questions about Bitcoin? Do you have? A sh uh, I I I have opened my shop my chat to for you guys to send me different different charts. If you have a different count, if you have a different opinion, you can send me here, and then I open, and then we discuss. Okay. If you have a different count, if you have a different opinion, if you want me to to take a look at some chart or whatever. You can tell me. You can show me. Nope. No qu no questions. So how do you determine that bit stamp chart is the real one when now the other chain don't have a lower low? Hmm. It's a good question, I temper uh It, it, the thing is, I, 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 I don't, I'm not saying that Bitstamp is the real one, okay? Uh, <clears throat> you see, I'm not saying that I'm not saying that Bitstamp is the right one or the real one. But when we are charting, we need to account for that. We need to account all the different possibilities, okay? And when we have such an exchange that has a lot of volume, that has a significant um, volume, and it, it, it has, and we have this data that it, in, in this exchange, in this specific exchange, we have broken this lower, the lowest low of the year, and then now we have a lower low, we need to account for that in our chart okay that's why but I, I have this other chart it's a bullish chart that is a uh, that that disregarded okay okay i'm in this chart here i am ignoring that we have a lower low here then and only then we we can think about a bullish count 
we might think about a bullish count okay but but nevertheless we can't count this we, without even thinking about this chart here this bit stamp chart we can't count as exactly like this without even thinking about this lower low okay it's th th this lower low just allow it for be i'm counting this way but if we don't have this lower low it it works just as well as a b here okay it the chart works for all the other the other exchanges okay the and that's why i prefer to count this way because this count here uh takes into account all exchanges it's it doesn't violate any rules and it's uh, it works for for bit step as well okay uh, but but as I said we might have this scenario or this scenario okay going down below and breaking the support here the lower the lowest low of the year going down completing wave three then this is this would act, act as a resistance and we would go down finishing our wave five here 5300 Okay, both cases are really both both cases are possible. Okay, I'm, uh, I, we need to account for both scenarios, guys. Um, but definitely, Bitcoin is gonna move up. Okay, today and perhaps tomorrow. We, we need to to put this. We need to to correct this movement down here. Okay, and then we are going down. Okay, definitely. Uh, we won't go down unless we we have some okay it's it's the market right it's it might happen something it might we, I, I might be wrong totally wrong deadly wrong and it goes up and it, this is a two uh, I can't see a one two three I, I can't see a one two three here an ABC but you know right um, so uh, this is my Bitcoin uh, chart, okay? Uh, the way that I'm gonna play this is really simple. If you haven't, if you haven't entered a long position, okay? If you haven't entered a long position yet, I don't recommend you guys to enter a long now, okay? I would recommend you guys to wait for B, okay? Why? Because it's not the, it's not wise to go against the the trend, okay? I would enter a short here, okay? Let's see, let's see where Bitcoin goes, okay? Let's see. I, I I do see a lot of interest here in this region, okay? So I would start leathering my my shorts around this, around six six hundred, okay? I would start leathering. Why, huh? And I would put my stop loss here okay like above the wave c and i would have a good risk reward of five okay this is a nice setup i think yeah this is a i would enter i i won't enter here i would enter like start entering like 6500 and i would ladder my 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 shorts until like I would leather my shorts until 80 80 70 I would put my 30 percent of my position here at 80 80 70 okay and I would but of course if it if it goes up and it doesn't reach 80 80 70 I would uh, I would leather with strength right when I see that it is breaking down and it's going down I would add more to my position to to get to to increase my position and to increase the to increase my profit when it gets down here okay it's a basic setup I mentioned the difference between exchanges because it seems to me that the spirit of the of Elliott wave rules are more important in particular than the given by one exchange by his spirit I mean sentiment like the mark to be willing to defeat to defend a certain bottom yes I understand I tempered you are right yeah I don't trust weeks but weeks they are part of the market right we need to consider and Elliot was pretty clear that we should consider 
uh, weeks up, especially in leveraged markets as we have for Bitcoin. We need to consider that it's part of the, it's not a noise, but it's part of the system, okay? Um, but you are right, it's one exchange in particular, but nevertheless, we have this, uh, as I said, we, this, this um, count here works for all exchanges. It, it doesn't violate any rules, but this one violates for Bitstamp. So if we have a bull count as this one, this bull count violates the, the principle, the Elliott, wave, Elliott Wave's principle for Bitstamp. So this count <laughs> might happen, of course. What would change? What would change? What, what would change is that we would have a, a B here. Uh, uh, we wouldn't go as high and we would go down again to finish this C. Okay. Perhaps it's the same count. If we, we wouldn't go as high here. We would go to 50%, 64. Okay. And if we go down again. We, uh, we will need to uh, consider another count. That's how we. That's how we work. That's how we need to be when we are shorting. When we are doing our. When we are analyzing our shorts, we need to take a lot of different uh, scenarios into consideration. Okay. So uh, this is a good. This is a good setup for me. Okay. I am definitely going gonna do that. Let me lower this degree here because this is definitely wrong. Um, and uh, this is a short. I, I would recommend. I, I definitely. I, I I am not in a long here, like like crypto light SP. I'm not in a long. But if you enter like six one hundred, you are in a good spot. You are in a profit. So it's not a problem for you to get this whole wave. This whole ABC here and get and start taking some of your profit here and changing your in our position to a short. If you if you trust that this is going down, right? If you trust that this is the trend, this is the overall trend, right? You might you, you might consider that we are not that the the bottom is here, okay? As some analysts have been saying that the bottom was here. The bottom was here. Hmm. Until we have confirmation, until we have, um, until we see, for instance, how if we break this, if we break this resistance here, this resistance here, it's a clear resistance, all right? This cluster here, this is a clear resistance. We try it, we try it, and we are down. Okay. We try it here again down. If you break this resistance, then we start thinking about it. Start thinking about a different count. Start thinking about longing. Start thinking about adding to your uh, position if you are in a long. Uh, start thinking something different. Okay, but unless we do so, what we need to consider is that in our daily chart, okay, as I, as I said, okay, this is my daily chart okay um i have this head and shoulder okay by the way it was i temper crypto that said to me that this could be a possibility and i am considering it a possibility okay why because it makes sense right this is the the cmf okay the is is one of is this indicator here is CMF, the name is Sh Schalken Money Flow, okay? This, this indicator re here really works well with the head and shoulders because it, it shows the volume of sellers here at the head. Left shoulder, we should consider that this movement here at the left shoulder should be higher than the head, okay? And then the movement of the right shoulder here cannot uh, uh, the, uh, the pressure the selling pressure cannot be higher than this okay it, actually it must remain like this okay then we have a head and 
head and shoulder. This, in this case, I inverted head and shoulder. And here we have the neckline acting as a resistance, right? So, and here we have the support that I put on my left shoulder, the lowest low of the year again, perhaps a lower low here. I, I marked that we might have a lower low. Then we would disregard this. We would need to recount this and forget about this inverted head, head and shoulder. Because if we have this head and shoulder in play, this is a daily chart, okay, guys? If we have this head and shoulder, inverted head and shoulder, we are going... It's bullish. It's a bullish pattern, okay? But this is not going to happen now. It's going to happen in August. Perhaps... Let me see. August, because this is not a perfect... Uh, one, two, three, four, five days. We, we would need to start going up. Hmm. Then we would... Then I would need to... To... to um, Yes, in order for this to, to be taken into consideration, we need to have a different count on our day, in our hour. In, we need to have, yes, we can have this exact, yes, it's, it's okay. We can have this W, X, Y, it's fine, okay, um, because it's, it, it won't. It won't invalidate this head and shoulder because we would have a movement up, okay? And the volume is showing us that it's plausible, right? We have a left shoulder higher than the head and it's declining, okay? Hmm. I like this head and shoulder pattern here. I like it. I like this count. Uh, this count, no, this pattern here. And unfortunately, the EMA doesn't tell us a lot because we have this 200 dma here the the 100 we have this death cross here the 21 ema is acting now as a resistance so in order for this to happen we need to break above the the 21 ema we need to meet the 55 ema here this is this is the 55 ema and break above it and start going up okay that's what needs to happen it's uh it's some time ahead right so as i said the, this the as i have been saying the daily chart show us uh, a, a bear market right a, a bear move a, a bear moment at least okay it doesn't need to be a bear market because we haven't been in this we haven't been below the 200 ema like this for a long time but for one month yeah since june but if if we keep like this it's it's of course it's gonna keep like sideways yeah? this might not even be a possibility right of reversal this is a strong trend reversal guys an inverted left an inverted head and shoulder is a strong trend reversal if this really plays out, if this is what's going on, we're going to have a trend reversal. But this is for the future, okay? Not for for the present moment, okay? I, I have posted on my Twitter, let me show you guys here, one example of this head and shoulder here, guys. You see? This is the at &T. okay? This is the head and shoulder pattern, okay? What? left shoulder a lot of uh selling pressure you see here at the cmf the head stable neckline here is stable uh volume here okay and you have start here of course it was a, a change in sentiment he, in our bitcoin chart we don't have this strong uh buying pressure okay to change it not yet to have our right shoulder, our right shoulder should be not, should not go as deep as the left shoulder. Okay, so this is one of the differences that I see in our chart. Okay, that ATAT example shows us that what that this right shoulder shouldn't touch the the left shoulder, the left shoulder area, area the left shoulder region. However, I don't. However, however that may be, 
I do see that the center, the buy, the buy pressure is it's higher than here, okay, than here. So that's why I am I am considering this as a, a possible scenario, okay, for the future, not now. Okay, um, guys, what do you think about this head, this inverted head and shoulder? It's I think it might be a it might be in play, right? It might happen in the future. <clears throat> I'm thinking about um, if you guys have. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about wrapping the wrapping this thing up. Yes, if you have questions, I can answer. If you have different charts, send to me. I can look at it and analyze with you guys. Oh, hi there. Toxic Korean, <laughs> how are you doing? Take a look at the hitting bullish divergence on the four hour. Okay, which chart should I use? Mm. This one. Hitting bullish divergence. Mm -hmm. Okay, no. Uh, we don't need here we have a bullish divergence this is one hour okay here we had a bullish divergence see a lower low here one low here one low here lower low but the rsi going up here we have a bullish divergence let's see the four hour chart uh -huh. mm. Yes, we have a bullish divergence here as well, but not so. We have a lower low, but we have uh, the same level on RSI. Yes. Where where do you think you have a hitting? But this is a hitting. A hitting bullish divergence here. Right. RSI and OBV making lower lows against higher highs on price. Let's hope it follow the shoulder. My long is going well so far. Yes. RSI and OBV. Let me put my OBV here because I don't have the OBV here. Um, yes, definitely. Yes. Higher lows on price. Yes, we see here a higher lows on price, but we see a higher high on uh, on the RSI. Yeah, but text <laughs> your eyes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, I, I I'm gonna. Uh, yes, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be reading the the channel. <laughs> so the OPV here. Okay, it's um it's showing a divergence of of course. Yeah, we have a lower low, but the, the OBV was showing a, a divergence. Here's the same. Yes, uh, but uh, I Templar, we do have this divergence that is indicating that Bitcoin is going up. This is this is the, the movement, right? The ABC that we are going to have this B. This is the, the, the RSI and the OBV here is, is telling us that this B is going to happen. This is the divergence. This is the RSI bullish divergence that that showed to us that A has 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 ended. That has been on. That's finished. That is done. And now we have our B. It's going up to to have our wave B here and then to go down again. Okay. We need to reset the RSI. We need to go it a little bit high. And then we would have a, a lower uh, a wave C, if and only if we don't have this case here, okay, going even lower, okay. This is my primary count, okay. Okay, you are saying, Murphy, the rising edge. You are saying that this this you are. Taking this as an example, right? And the, and that ABC is finished. 
A, B, C is not finished, cannot be finished. This is not a, uh, this is a wedge, a rising wedge. Okay, I give you that. But as I said at the beginning of the, the, the stream, I'm not considering this, uh, this bullish scenario. So I don't have this bullish scenario as my primary count because that we have, that we have had a lower low on Bitstamp which invalidates this is a one two three four five motive impulse wave okay rather i do think that we have an a b c because we if we have a b here b can be extended and the price actually is clear on a b c here okay a b c a b c and then we have a wedge here a ending diagonal okay Three, 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 three. Okay, and then we react to it. Okay, ABC is not finished. Uh, if you want, Murphy, you can, you can send me your chart now. It's open for you guys to send me charts. Okay, and then I can analyze here. But this is my chart, and like I said, we have a lower low on Bitstamp. So the bullish count here, this simple bullish count, hmm, is difficult to, it's not impossible, but I prefer a count that is, that is, uh, it's possible for all the exchanges, okay? That does not violate any rules that follows the guideline. Mm, okay. Um, Muffy, if you have your chart there, you can send to me. We can take a look here. Um, but this is this is pretty clear what's going on, right? Uh, no matter what, no matter what count you have, you need to. It's pretty clear that we have a motive impulse wave here. One, two, three, four, five. Finished. We have a, a correction here that is, in my opinion, is going on. This W, X, and Y is a correction that is going on. It's not finished. It's a correction of this whole movement here. Whole movement that has started in, let me see, in May. Okay? It's a whole movement that has started in May. This 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is our, uh, perhaps, is our tree. And this is uh this w x and y is our four so then we can put um a wave five here to finish i don't know if you remember guys i have a count uh the overall chart is my overall count for for bitcoin is not <laughs> this is my youtube sorry i am uh, i need to open this okay and let me show you guys my count. My, my overall count is this. Okay. Um, so we have a triple combo. Okay, we are, we, we are, this is our wave tree here. Okay, we have been correcting for 210 days or so. And we need to put wave Z. We are now here, right? We, we, we need to like touch this line here somehow. This is my wave Y. This wave Y here would be the wave that, see, that would touch here. And then we would finish this wave Z, putting and correcting further down to, I don't know, man, to 46. 100 then we would need to see okay this is our a b c let me let me short it let me, let me draw it here because it's a triple combo we need to have an a b c okay we are now correcting this wave a here that's what i said here guys this whole wave here all wave here okay since here okay it's a a a b no actually it's a a 
is this is the the second X yes this is the second X this is a four hour chart yes this is the second X then we have this whole a here this is a here okay this a here then we are gonna put a B here finish a B here this is a B and then we would need to put a C one two three four five C like here in our daily chart okay a is finished B and C okay uh, it makes sense and why a double combo here why because a double combo in I count this as an as a, a as a wave B here here we would finish our B because waves B we can have a triangle we can have a flat okay it's one of the waves, one of the corrective waves that we can have a flat, we can have a triangle, okay? So this is our A, okay? If, if, if we are to consider the whole count, this is our one, two, three, four. Uh, let me see, this is our A. I need to zoom in, zoom out to, to really <laughs> see the difference. This is our 20K, right? 20k let me this is our x this is our second x and this is our one two three four five finishing here a this is our a a of a higher degree okay here then we have our b B here okay and is that incorrect of a higher stupid learn how to spell how to write <laughs> a would have finished here okay then B this is B okay a flat correction for our B and then a C, we would go down, this would be our C, something like this. Okay, uh, five waves down, a motive impulse wave or a ending diagonal, okay? To finish our Z here, okay? And finish our C, C of a higher degree. C, okay, okay. This is what this is what's happening, okay? Uh, the, at least it's my count, okay? This is the bearish count, okay? And the way that I see the the daily chart, it's really difficult to not see Bitcoin breaking this lower low, this the lowest low of the year, this 5700, okay? I I do see that we are we we I do think that we need more full to to break this down right we need to go up and put a b here touching again the this up touching this upper line here that we haven't touched so let me just close it a little bit yes now it makes more sense we need to put this b here yes perhaps a week up and then we would need we would have our wave c I will need to, I must draw this triangle more precisely, this, this falling edge, this whole triangle here, but it's okay. Uh, this is a triple combo in a wave four, okay, wave four. We can, we can have a, a triple combo in a wave four. We can't have in a wave two. Some analysts are saying that we are in a wave two here. But we can't have this shape here. This this is not the personality of wave two, okay? Uh, and that's it, okay? This is my overall view of Bitcoin. This is my my four hour chart for Bitcoin. We might see this. 
this head and shoulder plane okay and then we would we would have it's going to play as well I would need to change a little bit my count if this is indeed what's going on we will need to finish this fifth here a truncated fifth and then we would go up it, it would this would definitely change a little bit my count but I am taking this into account so but this is a daily chart huh? for the present moment for short term at least yes I do see that this is a really uh, a good count in a, a possible count okay let me auto. what do you guys think guys do you have some some questions some ideas some shorts this is my so that's it if you guys don't if you guys uh, haven't followed me yet please follow me on Twitter here, uh, he, here it's me <laughs> welcoming you to my channel <laughs> funny <laughs> this is my setup here <laughs> um, I don't, uh, my webcam is not, uh, sorry, I'm not, I'm not really showing, uh, my, I don't have my web, webcam for today, tomorrow I'm gonna have it working again, but I think I'm gonna wrap up here, and that's it, if you guys enjoy my, my show, enjoy my, my stream, subscribe, and give me uh, follow me on social media as I said uh, subscribe on YouTube here I have again you have again my my YouTube channel okay uh, it's always a, a pleasure guys to to have you guys here and here's my my YouTube channel I'm gonna post this on I'm gonna post this this whole stream there so if you wanna take a look again it's always it's always a pleasure give me a and <laughs> you know share with your friends share with everyone share to the whole world let's bring crypto to the let's bring crypto to the to the mainstream let makes people adopt it <laughs> more and more guys thank you very much Okay, I always appreciate your support. Bye-bye. Cheers. <laughs>